This segment is sponsored by Havemeyer Homes. If you've had your eye on the local real estate market, you know it has been interesting to say the least. But supply appears to maybe be going up. Prices in some cases may be coming down, but interest rates are going up. So who's in the driver's seat in all of this? Well, here to discuss that and more is Kendra Havemeyer from Havemeyer Homes. Good to see you, Kendra. Yeah, thanks for having me. These are crazy times, but give us the lay of the land. What's happening in the Grand Rapids area real estate market? Yeah, so I'm happy to talk about that. The last few times that we spoke, um, we've talked about the housing market, not only in Grand Rapids, but nationwide to be a hot seller's market. As it is a, still a hot seller's market, housing inventory has recently gone up in the last two, about two months, and it provides more of a balanced market, which is great for buyers and sellers. Mm. We've been hearing a lot about interest rates. Can you talk a bit about what's happening? Uh, There's been an increase and how has that impacted the market? Yeah, so increase and interest rates are now higher than they were the last few years, but this needed to happen as rates has been artificially low for too long. Um, So that escalated home prices, even with the higher interest rates, home values are still up 15% higher in Grand Rapids than last year. So they they still are expected to go up, um, just more at a steady pace, which is what we really needed. So what they did is, is raise the interest rates to um, make sure that the home prices don't keep escalating up 15 to 20% that we've seen. Mm-hmm. And now it's more at a steady pace at 5%. So I'll, I'll tell you a little secret about me. I love, I'm so fascinated by real estate and I love looking at listings all the time. So what I've <laughs> noticed is that some homes are staying on longer and they're actually taking price reductions in some cases. What's going on there? Yeah. So sellers in the past, they really haven't caught up to the market changes yet. So they're still thinking they're going to be able to get a ridiculously pr- higher price for their homes, which really they do need to um, notice that it might not be 15 to 20 offers. They might be getting five instead. So it's still a good thing for sellers, um, but we're getting back to a more stable market, which is a good thing. Does that mean that it is a good time for buyers to, to get in? Yeah, so interest rates are still high. Um, they are higher than last year, but that brings opportunity to buyers that maybe have been burnt out in the last few years. Um, maybe they needed a house, uh, maybe they needed to sell a house in order to buy, or they had government funded loans like VA, um, FHA, um, which all of those were really close to impossible to getting an offer accepted within the last few years. So it's a great time for those buyers to get back into the market because that brings them opportunity. Mm. It doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad time to sell, right? No, absolutely not. It's just, you do need to realize that you do need to um, have your house priced and staged accordingly. Um, So even with the higher amount of inventory and competition, it's still a great time to sell. Um, They just need to be, sellers need to be more strategic and listing with a realtor that understands the market and pricing and strategies will be more important than ever. Yeah, because it it is, these are tricky times and you do need to have an experienced guide at your side because do you have to offer, you know, these crazy, we we hear about home selling for 20, 30 or more thousand dollars over the asking price. You need somebody who knows what is happening in the moment. And it's really in the moment, isn't it, Kendra? Oh, absolutely. And yeah, you have to kind of adjust to when when there's changing markets too. Um, There's no longer the time of listing it low to get really high. That was a lot of people's strategies. Now it's trying to find, you know, someone maybe even off market or selling before an open house to make sure that buyers think that they are getting a really good deal. So being more strategic and and playing that out in the moment with someone who has experience and, and works a lot in this market. All right. Well, for more information about the current state of the market or to buy or sell a home right now, contact Kendra. Her phone number is 616-821-5525, or you can check out her website, havemeyerhomes.com. Kendra, so good to see you. Thank you. You too.